This poem was written on Tuangarong and Wurundjeri land never ceded. And I'd like to acknowledge the permission of Natalie Harkin and Lorraine Padgham to use their words within the poem. Grounds. Malcolm Howie, painter of fungi, bound his watercolours and died, aged 36. From age 16, he was unable to walk and towards the end of his life, only able to paint with movements of his wrist. I consider making a crude analogy out of his demise. Mushrooms spring up with autumn rain, expand, shed their spores and decay, all in a matter of weeks. It crumbles. Fungi do not atrophy, they do not fail. When a fungal flower perishes, it has done its work until remade. To walk the field again through his wrist, flashing up threads of pigment. As in life, the fibres of a stinkhorn on a large cream ground for hands. Its skin tingles, lines of unfinished business bust from the archive, tall on fire, sparks carry up the air buzzing clouds. A walk in the Victorian bush in autumn after rain. In roots of the ribbon gum, metaphor moves like spores or crumbs ambling uphill. The colour of its rough speech bubbles paradise, trouble. The colour of infected nymphs. You are reading this far enough from its place of making. I am putting it together in Nam, where fragile metaphors tremble and reach in custom-made boxes forever 21 degrees. Meanwhile, fungi provides a hot mess of myth since by virtue of the ecologically and ontologically articulated modes fungi inhabit, to write of them is to write in a different way than of animals and plants. Like the primeval fern, the fungus is pure Aussie Gothic, the terror of life on other terms, in the oldest ocean, evil and beautiful, sluggish and blind and dumb, a land of floating brains, becomes the threat of undifferentiated invaders as thinkless slime, reaching for nutrients, budding selves, getting and spending, held together by dirt and foul tempers, as their host consumes herself, slowly at first, but then much more quickly. And how green is the valley of boho back blocks, where fungi is heir to pagan plots, troll cat, witch butter, Sunday bile, sex spot. Sowing future remembers, open tipped, the lengths that keep you, like frequency or magnetism, a peripheral circle, over the bogongs, the Bundian way. You float from highlands to bay, your home is potentially anywhere, a movable colony. I watch fast motion films of furry morsels rising and falling out of logs, through suspended marshes across the fat creeks, sudden hills that are lost to lowlands, were grasslands, watercolour draining from the eye, repeated dryly in Roman capitals. But under the herbarium's glass, a pruny smile, there is juice and bright and a crunch of old, very light spice. Australian poetry sees fungi as nativist, exotic locals. Kinsella defends fungi to the plough, which makes nothing from something. He praises its night growth and industry. Dutton sets blithe mushrooms and maggots against needy sheep. Sean Nielsen invites wakeful lovers to hear caps surfacing through the autumn dew. Overnight, our neighbourhood's walls and windows produced the words big jizz in a silver must. It's smut. In the colony, it was called punk. Metaphor is a dynamic tool for building knowledge and enabling new insights and connections by relating thoughts from one sphere to another. The poet's psychotropes, handling the fungus like, 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 carrot, cock, coral, cunt, crab, still the hyphae hang and spend themselves, chucking up their kids. In Howie's work, a Victorian fungus is strong and dense, gripping a bundle of sticks. Perhaps he reappears in the flickered lithe and rocky flange of his pictures and their purple litter, a folded, furtive voucher, the deep drawers closing. If you can imagine a toadstool in joints, an interminable string of toadstools budding and sprouting in endless convolutions, 
why that is something like it. In his late confinement, Howie saw a rain-darkened trunk. The port, its puffs of brown smoke, flattened and tinny from up here and gasping. Ice thrashes in the river. We read the pale history on its banks. Back in the city, searching for Tongarong histories. Books say native bread doesn't rise in such a volatile climate. Back in the herbarium, country flakes off the smooth, shiny creaminess of the colonies. Rust and thrush. Mycology sounds see-through to me, all the words removed of their soil. But it's not so. The soil clings. If you can imagine how everything else resembles a fungus. At the edge of your vision, what we learn how to see. The curtain of strands, itching and glancing. All this struggling to leap out of yourself to the possibility of the colony. You can only clear a place for it or relocate.